So a normal day starts off early in the morning. We normally leave the field station around 6, 6.30. Um, I'm not one that has breakfast, so I don't normally have breakfast, but um, straight into the field. And depending on um, which week it is um, in the month, we'll be doing a number of different things. Um, the most common thing we'll be doing is going out and looking for cavities in trees. So we're not looking for nests specifically, but that's nice if we find them. We're looking to find um, all the different cavities around the nest that are not being used. Once we find these, ne these cavities, um, I'll climb up to them and we'll take uh, measurements. Okay, so entrance height, 16. Um, width one, 14. Width two, seven. Entrance position is end. Um, bum, 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 bum. Depth, uh, yeah, depth is 13. Front to back is 18. 18. And it's the same for side to side. What we're trying to do is we're trying to find out uh, which cavities are available for the parrots to use and which ones they are using, then comparing the metrics across the two. So we're climbing up these trees and they go from being 10 metres tall to being 45 metres tall, so it's always a, a physically challenging day. Um, then after we've done that, or before we've done that, depending on, on the day, we'll then um, use a drone to try and find more trees. So we send the drone out um, over a 500 meter area around our trees, our nest trees, to look for big emergent trees with more cavities. Um, once we find these emergent trees, the drone will then, we'll get the drone to circle around them to see if we can find any cavities. And if it does, we'll then mark them and then we can go into the forest and look for them. Um, it's a bit difficult to going into the forest and looking for emergent trees with cavities from inside the forest. So this is where the drone comes in. Um, and then after that, we might go and then swap out some microphones. So uh, we use these tiny little um, audio moth microphones. Um, these guys are incredible. They can hear my cords at around 750 meters to a kilometer away. You wouldn't think of these tiny little things. Um, so we put these out in, uh, in the jungle, looking to find if we can hear my cords or not, so then we can kind of map their distribution over the whole area. So once we have those recordings from the, from the recorders, we load them up onto the computer and we have a look at them. We have hours of recordings. So these are automatic recordings, so they're set just to record for a certain period of the day. So then we have to trawl through them to find the calls. And when we do, they look like this. Once we've found them, we'll then listen to them. So that's um, the male at this nest, so we put them up at nest sites. That's the male at this nest doing those first calls. And then it's, it's Chick next to it doing the hello call. Um, so these are the calls we're looking for. So we can know the individuals that are doing these because these are specific calls that they only do in these specific contexts. And then we can extract those and then they go into the analysis later on.